Hi everybody, this is Brandon with GreenBagPromos.com and today I want to talk a little bit about polypropylene and how it's a non-woven fabric and how it's pretty eco-friendly. Uh, we have a couple bags that are the non-woven polypropylene fabric. We have this bag here which is our newest, the reusable shopping bag, as well as this reusable shopping bag. This is made from the non-woven as well as this bag here which is uh, made with the reusable 200 denier nylon as well as this one here and both of those two last ones I've shown you here are also made in the USA uh, which is pretty hard to find and as well as compete in that market uh, with bags that are made in the US. Uh, polypropylene is a great eco-friendly fabric that is being used today to replace other disposable plastic materials for example um, this polypropylene bag is taking a great share of the disposable plastic bags used in grocery stores. Uh, there's still a lot to be to be done because there's still a lot of people that are using the disposable plastic grocery bags, but this po polypropylene is uh, doing its job. Uh, so what exactly is polypropylene? Well, it's a man it's a plastic that's manufactured through a high heat source. Its molecular formula is actually C3H68X. So uh, there's a few different names um, that people would call it polypropene, uh, polypropene 25, propylene polymers, and more. Um, so let's talk a little bit about, about the properties. It's a rough and resistant to other chemicals. Polypropylene is also tough, but it's flexible. So that makes this material to be used easily for chemical and plastic engineering experiments because it's so tough and flexible. It's also pretty economical because it's it can be reused. This uh, bag here, as well as this bag, uh, any polypropylene can be reused. And it's also uh, translucent. Uh, it can be translucent. But uh, this fabric actually does not fade very easily. So a lot of people use this fabric uh, to dye with. And uh, they make it different colors so that uh, and they use this polypropylene because it will not uh, fade as easily. How is this manufactured? Uh, polypropylene's melting point is about 320 degrees Fahrenheit so once the chemicals have been bonded they are melted and pressed through tight rollers that will make a thin fabric. Uh, this process is usually called extrusion and molding. Uh, as opposed to cotton or other natural fibers which are woven, polypropylene is not woven. It's pressed through those rollers to make the fabric. Um, and people in this industry usually call this a non-woven material, a non-woven fabric. So cotton fibers are typically spun into threads and woven together, but polypropylene is pressed through those rollers into a fabric. So it's non-woven. Uh, there are other finishes that can be applied to the fabric. Uh, some finishes will um, uh, help the fabric accept ink better so that they'll be imprinted easily here. and uh, some finishes uh, help repel other chemicals and solutions um, so what do you use this material for? Well obviously use it for these bags right here as well as uh, other non-woven fabrics such as uh, shirts uh, like Under Armour uh, the polypropylene properties that repel chemicals actually keep the sweat off of the body. Uh, it can also be used in ropes, other packaging materials. Even surgeons now are using this fabric in hernia operations. So after fixing someone's hernia, the doctor places this non-woven fabric over the area to prevent a future blowout of that same area for the hernia. Uh, but most importantly, this bag or this, these fabrics, the non-woven fabrics, can be recycled, which is great for the environment. So uh, the resin identification code here is number five, and most recycling centers will take these bags and to be recycled. So uh, visit the website greenbagpromos.com for any more information about the reusable shopping bags.